Hey you, yeah, yeah, you, right there, watching this video. I, I bet you're not subscribed yet, because only 5% of you are actually subscribed. I know, crazy! No, but seriously, subscribe. Subscribe, or I'll ban you. I don't have the, I don't have the ability to do that, but I'm banning you from Build Over Treasure and Roblox. Is like, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm calling Elon Musk and sending you to Mars. You just, you can't stay here if you're not subscribed. Anyway, let's get to the video. Hello guys, this is Waddle1876 here, and today I'm going to be taking an in-depth look at my build of uh, the escape room. This is a series I've been making for like a couple months now, over a year. Um, and this is the last video using this escape room, probably, um, came out a couple days ago, like a week. So, I don't know. And it was the last one. There is going to be another one. There's still next four episodes, the next two episodes, and the next one episode. So there's like seven more episodes. Um, but those are a different escapers. But this one I can finally show off all to you. Um, the first thing, notably, I want to show you guys is probably something that is not that well known. Um, it's a bunch of the outside stuff. Uh, reason, by the way, my zoom is really odd. The outside stuff. I put some effort into the outside, and a lot of it has um, these under it, which is really cool. Um, but the decoration I put for the trees and stuff is actually kind of neat. I have little plushies scattered throughout, like the um, Fabi, um, Zeg, right here, and Shell Thrill. I forgot about that one. Uh, I have a little pond over there. Um, it was improved with the scaling tool update. It used to be just a little broken. This has made a huge change since the beginning. Um, geez, okay, there. And the outside is covered with well, torches, lamps, so it's bright up here. Um, the rules are there, obviously. The outside, pretty boring, not much to do. This is all added pretty newly. Um, these rules will change the next uh, escape room. Probably just the hints and the stuff, like, uh, restarting stuff, but that's for the next episode of this. So, let's go with the first thing. The first thing about this, and I'm going to play it like a normal one would. The first thing I wanted people to do was to go over here, obviously. But you can, if you don't know, you can start over here and click this button and it'll unlock this. Um, but the, by far the easiest place you can go to is this one, and it is to click this button. Then I wanted this one to be still relatively easy, but still pretty hard, because um, this is it's not that easy to see. You still notice it, but like you'd have to go here to actually see the actual button. Then it unlocks that. This is my idea of a three-way door. It can be improved, and it will be improved the next episode, um, so you can be out there to see that. Um, fun thing about this room, there used to be a soccer ball. You might have saw that, but I removed it because it kind of broke the game a little. Now the next one you're supposed to find was a little harder but still kind of obvious. It was this one. Um, I was expecting people to actually ask, hey, how, do, how is this a button? Is this a lever? And I was like, I would say yes, because I'm not cruel. Um, so that was the next one you're supposed to hit and it will unlock that. Um, now I made it so you can see each one through stages. I didn't expect people to click this one first and they get confused why this didn't change. Um, so that was, that was a little problem I had. Um, fun thing about this, I used to have candies, I think on this one, not this one, but I used to have candies there and people would eat them and I was like, oh no, shoot. Uh, fun fact, you can't see the signs from out here. <laughs> or torchlight, fun thing, yeah. The next one I intended for people to use a hint due to its hard capabilities. Um, yes, I, I totally intended for people to use a hint here. Um, I think this one was actually pretty decent. It was a hidden button, it wasn't like impossible. I'll get over that, like, I'll get to that point later. Um, this one was hidden, I liked it. There used to be chairs here, which made it kind of harder, so I removed those. But you're supposed to click this, and then it will fall, and you can move it. Now, um, some people don't realize you could move this, so I gotta make that more imminent, uh, probably. Um, I'll go over some little known facts about this. So then you're supposed to hit this, that unlocks this room. Now this, it all funnels to this. You can't do any other path this way. So this one is the first like uh, thing to throw you off. This button does absolutely nothing. You click it as many times as you want, it does nothing. 
Um, I, this room was meant to be just a little hidden room. And I was expecting people to go like, hmm, this looks like it could be suspicious. Oh, jeez, the light. This looks like it. Oh, wait, shoot. I got it. I got to turn on isolation mode. Lock. There you go. This looks suspicious. I, ha I, I bet there's something in there. And they go in here and they're like, oh, it's just a normal room. But then they'll go back out and they go like, okay, maybe this is, it goes dip deeper. This is the first one that I thought, okay, maybe I was a little bit of, I did the wrong thing here. Um, reason being, this is extremely hard to access. Um, and you wouldn't know it unless you actually did. Uh, you'd, you'd have to have a hint. I expect the people to use a hint there too. Other thing, um, I expected people to look up because like people tend to look up, but that no one did really except for like the last person. So when people click this button, I expect them to go like, oh, whoa, there's stuff up there. I have to find a purple button, but no one really did that. So once a person hit the yellow button, I would wonder, I would want people to, uh, you know, go over here and say, wow, um, there's a balloon that just activated, but obviously they wouldn't see it. So I was thinking maybe I could make like a window here or something, but I never did that. Um, then they were supposed to, this used to be more hidden. This used to be very more hidden, which made it kind of easier. So the people who did it first had it harder, but it was kind of the same difficulty for each person. So you're supposed to click that then, because that would remove um, sticky blocks inside here. You didn't see them, but there are sticky blocks. Uh, one of the hugest regrets I had for this was the actual use of the balloon blocks. Reason being, the balloon blocks are just so darn annoying. You see how long it is taking for this to actually disappear. I know, right? Um, but you finally disappeared. That That's like a solid minute. And I was like, you know what? I can't do that again. So I'm not doing that the next room. I'm using all, all, all glue blocks. In fact, um, I can't buy any right now. No, yeah, I can't buy any. <laughs> I was gonna buy some so I could get them, but nah, I can't do that. I'll buy more, don't worry. There will be no more uh, balloon blocks. Another one up there, so that's that. This part was especially hard. Um, the hitbox get, got harder for this, so it, it's really hard to press it. You have to angle it really nice. This is another one of those hard to touch ones. There's another one, and you probably know it, it's the, one, the last one. So you have to press it pretty accurately and sometimes I won't even pre press <laughs> there we go and then people will be like oh my gosh look at that oh wait what this is where I was sitting I was sitting here oh no I wasn't okay but it's supposed to press that for the sake of waiting I'm gonna remove it Act no wait no I'll explain something first this is like the countdown system which can be cheesed if you accidentally press it so I was like you know what? I gotta fix that I'll fix this next time it's not gonna be the same one um, it's going to be a different version of it, obviously. Can't have the same escape room twice in a row. That'd be dumb. That'd be kind of dummy. I'm not, not a dummy stinky yet. Funny, funny, silly, silly. Okay. We're going to stop with the old expired memes. Um, but yeah. We're going to delete that. This one was supposed to be really noticeable, but kind of weird to see the button. Um, fun thing, fun fact about this one. People could just cheese it by looking up here and go like, Oh, I'm jumping on the thing. I'm jumping. Uh, I see it. I see it. I'm going to press it. And they press it and this thing fell. And I'm like, oh my gosh, people are cheating. It. But then I made it baby proof so no one can actually do it. It's still possible, but you have to get every other one first. So it's, it's no point. So then you press it and this falls. Now, sometimes this didn't fall. Um, that's the annoying part. Now, I want to give some history on this part. This is the first part of technical stuff I did. Um, this took me like a solid 30 minutes to figure out how to do it because I was like, physics don't work right. Because I always assume that with games, but it, it works fine. Um, so I didn't know how to go about this because something was falling. And I was like, how am I going to make it so it doesn't like completely do a 90 degree angle? And it's not possible. It's not impossible to jump up there, but I still don't want it to be a 90 degree angle. I wanted it to be like stairs, but it's not stairs, obviously. So. I came to this design, uh, which changed a bunch of times, but eventually settled with this because that hits the back of the wall. I could, in theory, just remove these blocks and it'd still work, um, but that doesn't look as nice, honestly. So, yeah. By the way, uh, if you're wondering what it, what, what it did, sometimes it did like 
it did that, and it'd be like, eh, I don't like that. Um, because you could barely walk up it. Anyway, here's level two. Round two, place two. Um, there's a lot of stuff to talk about here. There was another little thing that I had. Originally, this was supposed to be a place, but then I was like, I don't know what to do with it. So I made it not work. Um, I know, smart. So you can press it all you want, still does nothing. Um, the next thing you're supposed to do, you're supposed to look around. And you'd be like, oh, I see this thing. I have to unlock this. But this is just one scape, but not scape, but um, misdirection. This is also misdirection. Um, but what you got to do is this is usually supposed to come off. I, um, you're going to be surprised. The last button press, which is this guy, um, this lever over here, is supposed to be the first one uh, after like you go up there. But that was not possible, so I just changed it. This is supposed to be released, but I never did that. So didn't work. So all you got to do is just press that. Then you're supposed to be like, oh, look at this. I don't know what I was doing going for this. I just, this is more of the abstract room. There was no design for it. More forgotten. Then you press this button, it drops on your head. Sometimes this would like fling around and go in crazy places. Uh, just to prove there's nothing there. Nothing there. See? Um, so then you push this over here. Now, some people got it stuck under there, which is not that good. So I had to get it out for them. Um, but not many people actually did that. Only I would do that. <laughs> so then you just press it. There you go. This one I made transparent in the last couple because I wanted them to see what was the way out and what things were left. Um, and, then, and then, after people were like, oh, what, I thought something unlocked here. And they just completely stumped. They used their last hint. Um, because they don't know what to do. I say it's, it's in a room you've already explored. And they'll go like, oh, I know a secret room I've already explored. And they'll go like, oh, oh my gosh, wait, I know a place. And they go here. And then they're like, oh, oh, I know this. So this, this part actually had some trouble too, because it would get released before I wanted it. Um, it was really premature release sometimes. And I, like, oh, I didn't want it to come out. Um, so it come out and I'll be like, uh, and they climb up here, unlock everything, and it's done five minutes. So there was a lot of cheese in the early stages. Luckily, again, I fixed it. Bug fixing. Um, this little area is supposed to be like the worn down, the forgotten area because it's it's double hidden. Um, the one down there you might have noticed had boldy piece of bread. It's because it hasn't been abandoned that long, but it's been abandoned for a decent amount of time. This one's just completely gone. No one's checked on in years. So what you're supposed to do is click this button and then it unlocks this area. <clears throat> this one uses some balloons, but not tons. Now, something people don't really know is you used to be able to actually like hit the lever over here. Uh, there would be a place where you can actually touch it, but no longer is that a thing. I can show you like, like examples of what it was supposed to be. The hitbox for it was like weird. You can see it's completely completely hidden. Uh, it used to be able to like click it from outside and it worked, but obviously that doesn't work anymore. So I, I it just became one sided. Um, come on, this this gave a lot of people trouble climbing up that fun fact. You probably already knew that. Um, and then we're getting to the last parts of this. So, the last thing is supposed to be the hardest, but it's not really, it's just the most annoying. Now, something I didn't realize until the absolute last recording of this, you can just put your hand, like, put your hand on the side of the wall and you eventually click on it. You have to turn the sensitivity way down. And you can see, it's easy, it's, it's relatively easy, but it's hard on mobile, and I made this originally on mobile. And then, this comes down, and the little downside, I forgot about this, is that it's very hard to see. You can see right through it. So if I had to change this, like, I had to change it, I'd probably make it, like, uh, not see-through, like this, uh, like it was before, but I'd make it thinner, so it's still, like, you know, you know, you know, see, it, it looks nicer. Then finally, I stopped the timer once they got out of here. I may add, like, um, here, I'll show you what I mean. What I, mean. Um, I may I may add like an endpoint, so when they finish, um, I can like 
pick out a spot. See this? Um, I, I was good at make this. Like, once you jump out into here, you'd, you'd finish and you're like, yay, I won. So that's what I wanted to do. Because that seems really cool. Um, but I never got to doing that, so it didn't work out. I don't know. Okay, so it doesn't collide. Okay. Um, the final area changed quite a bit. I added, I didn't add a chimney, it's always been there. Um, but I switched it up, I changed the brick color and stuff. Um, I added chairs, I, had, I switched the goal, because the, there used to be nothing on this roof except for the goal and the chimney. Um, and the goal, you still look very different, it used to be a square flag. And it would be like, a, I think it was like, this like, because I, I was on mobile, it used to be this color. Um, so it was a dirty checkered flag. <laughs> So it wasn't that, that attractive. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much the ending bit, not much more. This is supposed to be the, uh, the time where you look over the entire wasteland of where you just came from and all that stuff. Now you probably want to see me speed run this. And I, I'll, I'll, I'll do your wishes and I'll, I'll, I'll speed run my own escape room because that's going to be fun to see. Okay, so we're here and I'm going to start it. Uh, there will be a timer in the top, right? I won't cut anything out of this because I want it to be faithful to what it is. Three, two, one. There we go. So I know where everything is, and that's going to lead to me being getting the fastest time here, obviously. Um, so it's going to be pretty easy for me. Um, but I still think it's pretty nice to see the creator do it, and they know where all the stuff is. So it's going to be pretty good. It's not the most polished run. I'm not going to have like the best speed and all that stuff. Um, but I will have a pretty fast one. Now I got to wait. I know waiting the best thing in this game. Um, I love how I added this. So uh, just the fun thing. The next build, uh, the next escape room will take place on the same map. I'll just have the outside boarded up. So no one can like enter it. Um, it's gonna be this one's gonna look worn down on the outside. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna board this up and just add the second one next to it. I think. I think that'll look nice. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I'm giving a shout out to M because they were our shout out for today. Today they get the um the thingy. They are the person put on the plaque. Um, you notice I expanded this quite a bit. It's because we have a new um, thing, it's called Collabs. You notice there is a collab there, but it's whited out. That's because it hasn't been released yet, but I have recorded already. So look for that in the future. Oh, look, it's there, it's open. Okay, and then we're just gonna go here. Okay, this one's really infuriating. There we go. Okay, now we wait again. Um, probably tomorrow, because this week I'm doing a lot of uploads. So yeah, shout out to M. That's Pretty epic, I don't know why. <laughs> but, huh? I thought I had isolation mode on. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we go in here, and then get up here. And then, boop. Boop. Bop. That leap. <sighs> come on, come on. There we go. Um, shoot, it's blocking my path. There we go. There we go. Boo -doo -pop. Come on. Up, 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 up. Up. There we go. Come on. Come on. <sighs> there we go. I'll probably pick a more stable version of that next time because um, that one's very unstable. And come on, get, skip. There, there, go, 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 go. Up, 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 up. There we go. Okay, we're done. Um, you can get out while the balloon is still active, fun fact. Um, but yeah, that's only if you have the fastest time. Also, I forgot, the top pillar for this gets um, removed if you, uh, if the yellow is activated. That's cool. Um, 
anyway, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I don't know how he got on my side, but that's cool. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. If you like this, please consider liking. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Only around under 5% of you are actually subscribed. If you watch till the end, you get a cookie. Um, see you in the next video. Bye!